What is up guys, it is Space Monk and I've got some important information to share with you. If you are unaware, there was a scientist named Dr. Masaru Emoto and he did some water crystal experiments where he would just put words or you know, think things into jars or have environments affect jars of water or cups of water I guess. And what he would do is he would freeze that water after um, the environmental change and then he would thaw the water until there was water crystals floating on the top of the glass and he would look at those with a dark field electron microscope with photographic capabilities and there are some amazing results that our minds actually affect the water as well as just a written word can change how the water will hydrate you if you drink it because if it's a beautiful crystallized structure your cells will say oh that's good water and you'll get hydrated and if it's not a beautiful crystallized structure if you do the experiment, then your cells won't be as hydrated. It won't take it in as much. So here's some pictures. You can see this is you make me sick, I will kill you. That's not crystallized. You know, this is Adolf Hitler and Mother Teresa. Don't know if those are subjective feelings of what people had when they spoke the name into the jar. Sorry, there's a bug there. But um, these are more objective. Like this is love and thanks. Look how beautiful and crystallized that is. You know, other things like what is it? This is thank you. Love and appreciation. Uh, this is heavy metal music. <laughs> you can see there's a little light. There's a bit of a light there. I like heavy metal. Uh, other types of music, folk music, and uh, Beethoven, and Tibet Sutra, and things like that. So you really, uh, your thoughts affect reality. They really do. And it's important to stay hydrated. So let's always bless our water with love and thanks. Um, besides that, there's also a blueprint that I'd like to show you for zero-point energy technology. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to pause the video and take note, those are um, high octave zirconium Tesla coils. These could just be a steel frame and you wind them just like that. Um, you could look back and pause the video to, to build it. And I hope a scientist will see that and say, what? and build that. It, apparently it focalizes a light orb directly out of the empty space within all the, in between all the matter particles. Because there's light. The Tesla knew it. You could just Focalize a light orb out of thin air, and that's that's how you do it right there. Use the laws of thermodynamics that I've taught you, and you build that generator with the zirconium testicle. And remember, your thoughts affect reality. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you.